Hey guys, Keith from the Ashford Fly Shop here. Uh, got a new fly that Will thought I should show you. It's a little trout spay type fly tied on an intruder hook. Uh, yeah, here we go. I'll show you how to do it. Probably the most intricate part of this is uh, tying the rig up for the intruder hook. It's a little tricky because you have to tie a snell knot onto this. Um, what am I using there? It's a uh, TMC 2457. Um, just trying to, you know, I was looking for a hook that would hold everything and ride the right way in the water. For my, uh, instead of wire, I'm using 15 pound Maxima. And when I do this, I, I take off about enough to do maybe three flies at a time so that I have enough uh, enough to work with and that I'm not using little teeny parts. So what we're really going to do here is I'm going to send this through here and we're going to make a snell knot on top here. All that really is 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 like a uninot on the shank here. So you can kind of look that up on the internet if and find that knot and practice it a little bit and it'll you'll come up with it. It's pretty easy after you do the first couple. Uh, first two, you know, to get your dexterity in your fingers, it'll take you a minute, but it's really not all that hard. So just kind of wrapping this down the shank. I'm going to do four times around. Come back down there. There we go. One more. I know it's probably a little hard to see that in the video because my big fat fingers are in the way, but you'll figure it out. I have faith in you. All right, now the biggest thing here, I'm going to pull this, but I'm going to pull straight up so that all that doesn't come over the top of the, the eye there. And give, it, give it a good set so that it's, you know it's really set on there. And then I'm going to cut off my extra. Just for fun, I'm going to add some glue in there. This is uh, a Loon UV glue. I like it a lot because it sets real fast. This one's the Flow. I really like that a lot. I like the thickness. Of it. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It sets real fast. Then you just you know cut this off at an inch or so, and then you can just go back and make make stuff out of the rest of it. Next, I just have a uh, another TMC. Uh, it's, this one's a, what is it, 5263. And uh, this is a size 12. I got a 532nd bead on it already that I just kind of put on there. Because we're going to hide a bead in this fly to get it to sink just a little bit. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna take a little piece of tape here. Just because I don't really like getting stuck on my intruder hooks, I always take just a little piece of tape and tape it up there so that I'm not getting stuck with it. Now, depending on which way you want this hook to ride in the water at this point, you can if you want to do a, an up eye hook, you can take this and you know you'll put it like this because when you're done with the fly, you'll flip it over, which is what I'm going to do. If you want the hook to ride the other way, you can have it sit like this. That's kind of up to you. So we're going to push that bead out of the way and start our thread. We want to start our thread back behind the bead here, a little bit past halfway. Good, get it good and started. Take my hook, kind of size up what it is I'm looking for there. Get that wrapped down. Whoop. And just like wire, I'm going to wrap this back over. 
so that it really locks it in there and won't let it come out. Cut off my tag end. Now I know that some of you probably don't think that's a lot, but it's going to really hold on there well. And then, once again, we will glue that sucker just for fun. Hit it with the light. There we go. I'm going to bring our thread back to the back here. Um, you know, at this point, it's all about the color of your fly. So you could do, if you wanted to do a play on the partridge in orange, you could do, you know, a real bright orange back. I'm looking for a little more natural look on this one. So I'm going to use a, kind of a brownish pheasant tail look. And I'm just grabbing some dubbing. I'm not really paying attention to how much there is there yet. Because this is just going to be a little bit of color in the back. Just to give it a little bit of shape. Tighten that up. And I kind of want this to be a little fuzzy. You know, I want it to... I'm not looking to pull it all in there real, real tight. Because I want it to move around in the water and just make a lot of noise. At this point, I'm going to tie this off right here. Just so I know that it won't come, on, come undone later. Add a little bit more glue. Don't be afraid of using glue in the middle of your flies. You'll be happy later. Now, I'm going to take this bead and just shove it back on there as far as we can get it. Just kind of work it. So it really just sits in place like that. Take our thread. Start it right. Well, let's start it up here so we can get it really locked in. And then what we're going to do is right in front of that eye so it doesn't move around, we're going to build a bunch of thread just to hold it in there. Push it back a little bit more, get some more thread on there. All right. Now, you know, there's really not a lot of steps to this. We're almost done. I'm using uh, wood duck here. This one happens to be a gold. If you wanted to use orange, you could use orange, purple, olive, whatever you want. I mean, it's, it's basically just a spay fly, so it's super simple. Whatever colors you decide you want to use, go for it. And what am I looking for here in a feather? I'm looking for one that's got a long enough hackle to it that it's going to get just about back to that feather or back to the hook there. That looks like it's going to be about right for me. So I'm going to get rid of some of my fuzzies down here just kind of clean up this feather. Got my tips and what I'm going to do here is just separate, separate it out like that so I have a nice place to tie in. Now if I just get that right there And hold that back. I'm going to take my scissor and just real gently with the back of my scissor, just kind of work that fiber a little bit so it folds over nice and easy. And I'm just going to hold it, bring it around. You don't really want to let this feather spin. It'll It'll want to spin on you in your fingers. But we're not trying to keep it. So it's just making a nice laid back hackle. And you could use a longer feather if you wanted it to be a little bigger. I just 
grab this one because it looked like it was about the right size. Thank you. So as I just go around it real quick, make sure that everything's in the right place. Bring a thread up around, and making sure you're getting all those fibers out of the way. times cut out our stem there oh and I forgot to talk about my thread on this I'm actually using a uh, and just an a dot black because I just went later on I don't really want a big head so I'm trying to keep it from building up too much in the front I tie most of my stuff, even my spay flies, with uh, six or eight dot thread and then just use a lot of glue. That helps it. So next, you know, we're almost done. Real simple, India hen, once again, any color you have that you decide that you want the fly to be. Um, this is just gonna be a collar. I'm just gonna pull one of these out of here. Kind of strip it back a little bit. Do the same thing here, kind of get to where I can tie in a nice little spot there. Pull it back a little bit. Cut that little bit out, what I want. Go. Now, same thing, but on this, you gotta be really gentle because if you do this too hard, you will just knock those fibers right off of there. I'm trying to keep them. So now, I'm just gonna gently wrap this, folding everything back out of the way, going forward. Okay, bring my thread up around to lock it in. Do that a couple times, just making sure I'm not. Get a little bit in there real quick. The thread. There we go. Now, it's only one more step really, and that is I want a couple of little cheeks on here just to give it a little bit more flair. So what I'm gonna do is take another piece of this India hen and I'm just gonna look for two kind of like sizes and, sh and colorings. So they look even on both sides. I'll take that one, take this one. And all I'm gonna do is take and kind of peel these feathers back a little bit. I'm really only using this right here just to create a little cheek. As you'll see. So I'm going to sneak that in there. Pinch it in. Fold it back over itself. Check to make sure it's landing where I want. Yep, I like that. Do it on the other side here. Just looking at it real quick, kind of seeing if I got the same size. Pull it back, catch it a little bit. Okay, now I can pull all that out of the way. Feather looking good. All right, now we just make a nice little head. I want 
I'm going to do here is I'm going to get some glue on there before I wrap just to make sure that got a little bit of glue in there then I'm going to tie it off you know if you wanted to whip finish this you could you could do whatever you want there I'm just going to put some half hitches in it So I'm going to glue this up pretty good, just to kind of hold on to it there. Now at this point, you could take and, uh, you know, you could use hard head on there, you could use whatever you want. Because I've got it here, and it's fast and easy, and I'd like to go fishing today, I'm just going to take a little bit more glue, the, the, the UV stuff here. Make a nice big amount on there. Let it set in a minute. Hit it with the light. I'm going to turn it over. Get in here. I like this Loon UV Flow stuff because it's just the right thickness to be able to really get just the right amount of stuff on there. Then one step left. We just have to take and cut that hook out of there, which is not really all that hard to do. You just kind of, I got a big old pair of pliers here with a wire cut around it. Sorry guys, I don't have anything small with me today. Just go in there and cut that shank off. And uh, there's your fly.